first, tomorrow is National Gluten-Free Day, and the taste of gluten-free foods have come a long way recently. Yeah, and here to show us how we can celebrate mm -hmm. with tasty and healthy pizza is founder of Tour de Pizza, Matthew McClellan. Matthew, a man oh. after my own what? heart because his passion is pizza. It is pizza. <laughs> it is pizza. I, I like it. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. Good morning. Yeah, Good morning we've been calling you. him. He's now our uh, most interesting man, I yeah. think. <laughs> you have quite the story. But let's first talk about gluten free. And as we mentioned, come a long way. Come a long way. I mean, it's a long way. And, and, you know, for small family owned pizzerias, it was really tough for us to offer, you know, all the new trendy foods. Some people have true celiac disease. So, mm -hmm. like, less than 1% actually true have an autoimmune uh, issue with gluten. So, um, you know, and then other people are just doing it for lifestyle or, or for trend mm -hmm. or just because gluten sensitive, they feel better yeah. and they have less inflammation. And there's there's techniques that we'll, we'll talk about in the segment about how to reduce inflammation through pizza so you can still enjoy your favorite foods and be balanced and uh, be fit. So someone who has not embarked on the gluten free diet, when I hear gluten free, it sounds intimidating okay. and maybe people at home feeling that way. How can you turn a favorite such as pizza and making it into gluten free? Well, OK, so what gluten does is, is gluten is a byproduct of wheat, right? So it's found in uh, hot, like in beers, they have mm -hmm. gluten and pizza crust, breads. Oh, so the stuff I love. So, yeah. So <laughs> in Latin, the actual word means glue. It holds it all together. So when you take that out, usually you have to add additives back in to make it somewhat substantable to cook on or to give a texture to. So um, I, in the beginning, we used to all make it ourselves and it was inconsistent and it was hard to prepare. And then true celiac cross-contamination can make someone sick. If it's more than 20 parts per million, it's, it's no longer considered gluten-free. So if you cook in a facility, a special oven, a special prep table, a special holding facility, utensils cleaned every time you use them, you could make someone sick. So I always use it as gluten-friendly. Mm -hmm. I don't use the word gluten-free um, just because it's not worth the risk, yeah. you know, but we offer everything in shop just to, to make it uh, a pizza for everybody. And whether it's gluten free or not, and we need to go ahead and get you starting to, to make a pizza, but we have sure. to hear your story because truly when we say his passion is pizza, you have you are on a mission to be an advocate that pizza, whether gluten free or not, can be healthy. Absolutely. You know, I'm a flexible dieter. I uh -huh. track macronutrients, so I, I follow the, the science. And uh, I went on and embarked on a 16 week pizza only diet in 2016. And as a 40 year old man with two kids and two restaurants, I was able to win my pro card in natural bodybuilding with a pizza only diet. But hold on, it's not just about <laughs> eating pizza and gorging my face and stuffing my face with double stuffed pepperonis. It's all science. So I use cauliflower crust. I use Sammy's flax and millet grain, grain free crust, which is gluten friendly or free. Uh, I use breakfast pizzas with scrambled eggs. I have egg white pizzas. But some of it, you didn't do all gluten free though. You no, still I, even use I traditional use, crust as correct, well. Because okay. I, I don't have a true autoimmune is, okay, issue. Okay. So I use a combination of all of these things, but for 16 weeks I only ate pizza and I won my pro card in natural bodybuilding with a body built by pizza. So that's my mission. That's what I'm on the uh, yeah. course to do. And, um, you know, like, like my friend Hulk Hogan says, he says, uh, if you walk in a room and no one knows who you are, mm -hmm. or you leave a room and no one remembers you, you fail to leave a mark. And so I've embarked on this mission in 2018 to leave a mark on the world that pizza is a healthy food. And uh, we're going to change that perception we're right here. We're always going to remember. I love it. Well, we're going to do it. So what, okay, what are we making what, up today? So I brought all the different crusts. So I have a, this is a traditional high gluten flour, a typical Brooklyn style classic pizza is how I learned how to make pizza. Um, so this is the traditional flour. I just want to bring it for reference. Okay. But this but again, is, you say in moderation, if you are not a true celiac, you know, it's just for preference. Bothered, but yeah, for preference. you know, if you want to be organic, if you want to be uh, gluten free, if you want to be uh, a low carb, in fact, I brought the low carb okay. whole wheat crust. So when you take out gluten out of your pizza diet or out of your diet in general, a lot of times you strip out calcium fiber is hard to obtain when you cut out the gluten. Mm -hmm. Um, so other mineral B vitamins is, is tough. So, I use a low carb whole wheat crust from Sammy's Bakery as well. Um, Sammy's great. It's a ba gluten free bakery up on Bush Boulevard by Bush Gardens. Okay. Mo and Sammy, they've been my uh, resource for the last seven years. I've outsourced it to them because they do better than I do. But I can offer a, a wider selection to my customer base okay. without the waste, the contamination, et cetera. So now I have a low carb whole wheat, high in fiber, low in carbs. I have a flax and millet grain free. I have a cauliflower crust, which is also gluten free. Um, but it's a different source, so it's it's not grain. It's easier for digestion, um, and that's really what you want to do. Like have a wide variety of nutrients through whole foods. And these are some, yeah. Let's <laughs> get to these. So, what, are, what are some of your favorites? What, so are what I did here. This is our, our absolute favorite. This is the Greek pizza. This is on. Oh. Now this is fully cooked, so I'd love for you to try one if you want to. Yeah, get one absolutely. This is a, a gluten-free 
low carb, or I'm sorry, it's a gluten-free flaxseed millet with a garlic and olive oil, which is high for mm -hmm. immunity. It builds your immune system up. So in colds, if your immune system is a little weak, garlic's great for that. Um, feta, artichoke Good. hearts, tomato. I could eat this every day. And here's my thing. I'm saving That's up for the unhealthy stuff, which you say is a total misconception. That's the misconception. And I love that because I could yeah. eat pizza every day. I could totally do the diet you were talking about. But I've got to ask you, take yeah. us back. You're okay. leaving a mark on our show, but what was it about pizza that left a mark on you to make this your passion? Oh, wow. I mean, so, you're taking the love of pizza yeah. up a whole other element. Okay, so you know, I got in the industry 15 years ago. I got in strictly with the idea of making money. It was an investment. And I thought I was supposed to make the tastiest pizza to create a repeat business so I could grow my business and make more money. And I did, and I was successful, and I was winning awards, but I was making people obese to make a profit. And so the more money I made, I felt guilty. So I had a 20-year-old kid who was coming in two or three times a day, eating an extra large pizza, like a 20-inch pie, every single day, and so I cut him off. And he, and he comes to me and said, why, why'd you cut me off? I was like, man, you're gonna really hurt yourself. I, I can't sleep at night knowing that I'm destroying your health. Hmm. And so I said, you can only eat two slices when you come in at a time, I, I, I promise, man. If you want more, you gotta go to the gym and earn it with me. And so he went, worked out with me for three months and lost 50 pounds. This is back in 2004. <laughs> So by the time I moved to Denver, or from Denver to St. Pete in 2009, the St. Pete Times was looking for a story on if pizza was healthy. I said it was. I took the challenge, did a 30-day diet. Oh, and the rest is pounds. history. We're out of and time. Now, but okay. Uh, the rest is history. And I wanted to mention, too, you've been featured in GQ, so no wonder why you were just making waves. And we're excited to see what else is to come in 2018 for That's you. That's how I cut my carbs right there. <laughs> if, you, if you want to cut carbs, oh, I'm diving in. come here to the morning blend. This is it. I love it. Thank you so much Thanks. for coming in. Thank Best you. of luck with everything. Keep us Happy posted. We're going to have you back. All right? Happy New Year. Yes, we're going to have you back. <laughs>